Hey, what's up guys, Tetrak here. Just wanted to give a quick tutorial on how to get your Xbox uh, games in here from Windows and launch them through Steam. Um, here's one, the Sea of Thieves game. If I go to properties, this is the target you need, but you can't copy it from here, right? Uh, dang, Windows won't let you do it. Uh, I've heard people recommend uh, UWP hook, but I'm a hit or miss with this thing. So what you have to do is you have to refresh this. It gives you a list of all the apps. This is what I do. Um, I found Sea of Thieves here. This is the target. And you can't copy it, so you're going to have to type it in word for word. I mean, letter for letter. Even the dots and the underscores and uh, everything they have in here has to be capitalized the same way, right? Um, and you're going to do it with Glow, Glosk, Glow SC right here, right? Um, so I already have Sea of Thieves in my library. You put the name up here, uh, put launch and close when you're done with it. And under path, you're going to type exactly like I said, type this in here, what's in here. All right. Once you get that in, you're going to hit save, right? And then you're going to uh, add all the steam. Uh, restart Steam and it'll be here, right? Um, and you'll be able to launch it and it's going to open up. This art and stuff, what I use here is um, what's it called? Uh, Steam Grid DB. I don't know if you. Yeah, Grid DB man. DB. Why it's not showing that? Oh yeah, that is it right here. So this will show you um, all your games that you have in your Steam library, and under other, you know, you can go find the game. So a game that I haven't done yet, that's you know moving out. I haven't done it. You have to exit out of Steam for this to work, I think. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. So let's say moving out. Hit this. Uh, there's no uh, art. Let's try a different one. Here's tactic. Hmm. Oh, other, 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 other games. Here it is. Not finding the art for some of these. Found it for these two. I haven't, I haven't really looked in some of this stuff. Maybe I need to. Oh, there's one. So you can uh, get art in here pretty easily, right? Um, and uh, once you restart Steam, it'll be there. Or it adds it automatically. Sometimes it's there. It's hit or miss with that one. I sometimes I have to restart Steam. Anyways, that's how I add the art in here. Um, also, an another cool feature of this Steam DB um, is you can add import games from Epic, which works really well, or uh, UPlay. I'm not quite sure if Origin worked right. I know that Battle.net does not work, so you don't even try that. But I, I know for sure. You play GOG, I think works in here, and um, Epic Games, all right? So you can import those in, and it launches with the overlay, which is really nice. So yeah, that's how I uh, get my games in. I'll show you real quick. I'm going to do moving out um, real quick, just to launch it to show you. So you see the overlay is loading up. Games loading. Um, and this is an Xbox game app. This isn't from the Steam store. This uh, controller. You can go in and edit all you want. Now, remember when you use Glow SC that um, you can't be in full screen mode. If you're in full screen mode, you will not see this overlay. So you have to be in border, borderless window or window mode. And then you can put it back in full screen after you set up all your settings the way you like. All right. So I'm going to go 
ahead and close this out. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's how I get my Xbox game, and it's not that hard. Yeah, you have to do type in these shortcuts, but once you get it in, they're in there. Make sure that they're typed exactly the way you see them, though. Like I said, with the dots, dashes, whatever it is, uppercase, lowercase, and it will work. All right. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.